So tomorrow is St. Patty's Day. I thought we would do a quick little um, tutorial on how to create a line design shamrock. So I'm gonna get right to it and go right here. Now, I like to make my shamrocks out of hearts. You do not have to do it that way. I'm gonna show you a different way in just a second. If you feel like, oh, I can't do that, you can always sort of trace your hand and just sort of do a little outline of that. If you want to do that in pencil, you can. I am not going to start in pencil. I'm just gonna go for it. If I make a mark that I don't like, it's all right. I'm just gonna go with it and kind of problem solve and go with the flow. Like this isn't very even, but you know what? It's just for fun and ooh, you can hear my marker. And I'm just gonna keep going and now I have my shamrock. This is two curved lines and I'm just gonna connect them with a horizontal line. <laughs> it's a little silly, but that's okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna section my um, shamrock for St. Patty's Day off into different, different little sections just by using directional lines with my diagonal, horizontal, vertical, do another diagonal, and maybe we can do another diagonal over here. And then do a, vert or a horizontal line over here. Now, what I wanna work on here is pattern. So pattern is a anything that is a repeating shape, line, or color. So in my sections, I'm gonna just jump in and start doing super simple patterns. Now, we are creating kind of like our own coloring page. So keep it simple. We don't want to be too detail oriented. And then we'll get into coloring. I'm just going to do a pattern of lines over here. Mm -hmm. Just simply straight lines. But let's use some of the lines that we talked about in our other video. You know my favorite line is the castle line. So I'm going to go for that over here. Up, over, down, over. Over, up, over, down, over, up, over. And I'm gonna fill each section with a line. So this counts as a pattern. It is a repeating line, shape, or color. And here we go. Here we right. And now let's do my cloud line. Remember I talked about a cloud line. I'm gonna do a cloud line. I'm gonna repeat all the way through my shape. I'm just gonna pick it up here, and then when I go to color it, I'll have some spots. I'm also gonna do my monster fur line. It's one of my favorites. Reminds me of like Cookie Monster. It's pretty fun to color once you do that as well, even though I've got a straight line there. Maybe I'm turning it into a pattern. You can sort of make this up as you go. Um, I've got repeating lines, 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 and only one repeating shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a fun shape. I'm gonna do pizzas, really triangles. We can turn them into pizzas, I guess, if we wanted to. A little few go off of my page, or off of my section. Let's turn them into pizzas, want to? It's kind of fun, pepperoni pizza. <laughs> Yep, be a little silly for St. Patrick's Day, that's okay. Okay, pizza, pizza, pizza. All right, ooh, I think I need another triangle right here. I'm gonna do that. And here we go. Oh, you can hear maybe Alexa talking in the back. Yep, I am at home. So this is a real video of just me being me. So here we go. In this section, I think what we'll do is Oh, I can't come up with anything. How about a, a, a squiggly line? We didn't talk about that before. So I'm gonna skip and then pick that design up right along, that's gonna be a fun one to color, but I'm gonna pick it up on the other side of my shamrock. Little spot here, woo! Okay, now we're gonna move on to coloring. I wanna talk to you quickly about coloring. Just take a look at my supplies. These are supplies that literally, I just cleaned out our van and they are from our van. They've been all over the floor. I just wanna show you, this is not a complete set of a fancy new box of crayons or fancy markers. It's just stuff that I have. I have a highlighter, crayons, a couple of colored pencils, um, a red pen, 
a regular pen. You can literally do art with anything that you have. So I'm gonna try to color in just some here, but one thing I wanna talk to you about is it doesn't matter what supplies you have, you really, really still need to do your best four star coloring. Now we're doing four star coloring. We're doing the very best and filling in all of our white space. That is why we're adding color. I get a lot of complaint from kids. Mrs. Fred, I don't want to use crayon, but I want to show you why crayon is a pretty awesome tool. So you can get many, many tones from just one crayon. So if I push super really light and gentle, I can get one tone. See how it's nice and light. And then if I push a little bit harder, it's not a different color, it's not a different crayon. It's just a little bit more pressure and then your color starts to pop a little bit more. Now I'm gonna press a little bit harder. See that? You can begin to see that difference from here to here. And then wait till you see at the bottom when I begin to push really hard. Let me get past this polka dot the very bottom area here, check it out. Oh yeah, that's just one crayon and we got lots of different tones from just one little thing. So I'm gonna try to go fast here. Maybe I'll stop the video, but I want you to see that you can get a lot of different beautiful pieces of art with just simple tools. Now, if you want, you can cut this out, you can make a background, um, you could do about, you know, hang this on your door, in your bedroom, whatever you wanna do. You can leave it as it is and even color or write Happy St. Patty's Day in the back. Now I am using a variety of crayons and markers and that tends to make your art look a lot more interesting and you can get lots of different color. Even though my favorite tools that I have in front of me are crayons. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. There we go. And, oh yeah, we gotta color that pizza. Super silly shamrock. So we use pattern, we use line design, doing our good job at four star coloring, really trying to stay in those lines. There is a time to color outside the lines, but right now our project calls for us kind of doing it this way. Yeah, always do your best. If you make a mark you don't like, don't throw your paper away. Don't give up, don't throw your paper away. Make it into something else. I, oh, oh, my marker doesn't work very well here, so this is a really good example. Even if your marker doesn't work, don't give up. Keep going, because you're gonna get the same value, the same color all throughout your page. There you go, oops. Let's do a little green background. Gross, green slime behind my pizza. I'm going fast here. So you don't need to watch me finish coloring all of this, but I did want to color half of it and show you that no matter what kind of tools you have at home, if it's just a few broken crayons or a fancy marker or paint set, you can have wonderfully made art by you. Okay guys, I will see you next time for our next video. Happy St. Patty's Day. I hope you have a great day, a great St. Patrick's Day. And I just want you to know that I miss you and I love you. Take good care. Love Mrs. Fred. Bye guys.